Hi guys, this is my Pothos Pros and Jade. This is the first time I am uh, I clipped and trying to propagate this particular plant. Um, I think I've had this plant for less than a year. I mean, not the clipping and propagation, but the actual mother plant. I clipped this plant 12 days ago, and um, everything that I have used and am still using is down in the description section, just like all my social media accounts, so do check that out if you're curious what I am using. Um, so what I do, or what I did, was I clipped right below the node, and I dipped it in, um, well, it's linked down below. I dipped it in there, and then I put it in here. The medium that, my favorite medium that I always use is Coco Coir. I am not successful when it comes to water propagation, soil propagation. What I've noticed is they just rot and die. It's a little too dense because you have to imagine there is no root system. It is just a clipping and they have a higher chance in regards to drowning or being overwatered in my personal experience when it comes to soil. This, it, this does or has been sitting on top of a heat pad 24 seven. Um, she, she gets, she only gets LED plant light 12 hours a day on average, um, minimum 12 hours actually, because that particular spot, my propagation station spot does not have natural light at all. So, um, if you have natural light, it might be a different story for you. Um, but this is where I propagate all my clippings and they are from different species and different requirements and stuff like that. And they pretty much work there. Um, so this is what she looks like. I have noticed though that some of them, like this, I tugged it, and so that's already growing uh, a root system. This one too, this one too, and I think this one not yet, because I did see that, how it just comes off. That one, for whatever reason, is not. Um, these, everything, every single clipping has, um, grown, except for this one. I think this is the one that was trying to help out this baby one when I clipped, so that could be it, that it was concentrating on getting this to grow instead of concentrating on the root system. But it wasn't growing yet, and it was in the tip, so I just included that. So it might take a little bit longer for that. Um, again, today is day 12 for this. I water her every seven days. Um, I only water when the top, uh, I would say like top half inch, quarter inch to half inch is completely dry. If you've never worked with Coco Core, Coco Core is very airy. Um, it's not dense at all, like soil. And um, when it does dry up on the top, it um, you can move it around and it won't stick to your skin. So it's really, I, I really love that material when it comes to clipping and propagation. That's the only thing that I do use. Um, if there's anything else you guys want to chit chat about, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys all the time. Unfortunately, when I did have the time to clip this and propagate, I didn't really have the opportunity to record it for you guys. I will try as much as possible whenever I do clip and propagate again that I can try to uh, do that with a camera because um, I would like that on my record too. And I know there are people that enjoy wanting to see how other people do it. Just a reference, just in case. Um, theirs might not be doing so well, or they just want, they're just curious. Um, anything else, guys, comment section below. And of course, again, all my social media accounts are in the description section. I hope you enjoyed my video. You're going to hit the like, subscribe, and of course, the bell. So you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.